meteorologist Noel Rehm. Sponsored by CC Roofing and Construction Company. Good evening, Concho Valley. It was quite warm today. Not too bad if you were in the shade soaking up some of that northerly, northerly winds. Got to 87 degrees today. A few degrees above that average high of 83 and nowhere near that uh, record high of 104 degrees. Let's take a look at the Cactus West Sky Cam. 86 degrees still out there a little after 6 o'clock. Looking at those winds coming in a little lighter now out of the uh, north at 6 miles per hour. Dew points at 52 degrees. This was sent in from Tim earlier today. The Elm Creek and the Colorado River out in Ballinger. This was from all the rainfall that we had from this low pressure system that continues to march out towards the east and northeast as we speak. Meanwhile, if we take a look towards the north, there's a look at that weak cold front that will move through the Concho Valley here shortly and into the overnight hours. Along with this high pressure, this will keep skies clear tonight and winds on the light side as well. Temperatures right now still quite warm, low to mid 80s across the region, sitting at 85 out towards Merton, 84 degrees in Sterling City, along with Big Lake, 86 out towards Ozona. 82 in Eden, along with folks out there towards Coleman, sitting at 82 degrees in Menard at this hour. Wind speeds coming in light out of the north northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, sitting at 6 mile per hour winds in El Dorado, 7 mile per hour winds in Sonora. So let's take a look at the upper level weather pattern as we head into Friday afternoon. We have the low pressure continuing to march out towards the northeast. Meanwhile, as we put this into motion for you, an upper level ridge of high pressure begins to strengthen over West Texas. Now, this will allow those temperatures back into the upper 80s to lower 90s for this weekend. In, putting it into motion once again, tracking another upper level low. This will allow maybe a chance for some showers and thunderstorms by the early to middle part of next week. There it is. That upper level low begins to track in along the Pacific coast into California and moving into the Four Corners region as we head into early Tuesday and maybe Tuesday afternoon. This will likely drag in that cyclonic flow, meaning counterclockwise rotation, dragging in a chance for some scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, and then it begins to track into the Texas panhandle along with this dry, dry line. This will could initiate some scattered showers, maybe a few strong to severe storms can't be ruled out as we move further and into the middle part of the work week. So for Friday, you're talking a dry and a beautiful afternoon, warm and dry throughout the weekend. And then we're talking those rain chances making an appearance late Monday night, lasting into Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly even Thursday and into the late part of next week. Your evening planner tonight, 77, a beautiful afternoon, a beautiful evening. It'll shape up to be and then the high pressure settles in, allowing for light winds and clear skies. So we're expected to see a chilly start. Grab the jacket as you make your way out the door for Friday. Friday morning and then Friday afternoon rebounding to 80 degrees. It'll be a bright and sunny day with seasonal temperatures across the entire Concho Valley looking at an east southeasterly wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's a look at that seven day forecast moving forward. Lots of sunshine expected from here on out, at least until the weekend. Highs back into the lower 90s. And then we're tracking our next rain chances beginning Monday night and through Thursday, possibly even Friday of next week.